How realistic it is to find a six-figure blockchain developer job when you are a beginner. Sometimes it feels like nobody wants juniors. It feels like there is no hope. Well, guess what? Seniors started as juniors, so there must be a solution, right? Let's dive in. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and on Eat the Blocks, I help you to become a blockchain developer. Okay, so story time. Let's say that you are a beginner, so you start to be interested in crypto. You follow some YouTube channels like Ivan on Tech, Coin Bureau, etc. You start to check out coin market cap every five minutes. You start to buy some crypto. You make some nice profits or not. And you start to be more curious about blockchain technology. And one day on YouTube, you stumble upon this weird guy, Julian from Eat the Blocks. And Julian from In the Blocks tell you that there are great career opportunities for blockchain developers even as a beginner. And you start to think, oh, interesting, maybe I could try that. But before embarking on this new journey, you want to do some research. So you go on some crypto job board and then you are very surprised because there are no positions for junior. Every job ad mentions senior blockchain developers. So you start to be worried and you research the job market and you find some very negative comments on Reddit, on YouTube, on Twitter. You find people who also tell you that, yes, it's very difficult to find a blockchain job as a junior. So some people tell you that they send hundreds of applications and it didn't work. So what do you do? Well, you give up. You are become angry. One more scam. Okay, let's try the next thing. Let's try crypto trading or back to web development. But while you give up, some other people did not give up. They work harder than you and they do end up getting blockchain jobs. So what did you do wrong? Well, let's address problems one by one. So the first problem is confirmation bias. So once you believe that there are no jobs for juniors, once you've been rejected a couple of times, you will start to search for confirmation of your belief and you will find other people who think like you, but what you find is just a small sample. It doesn't represent the whole market. There are many people who actually succeeded, but they didn't post it anywhere so you just don't see it so don't let it fool you so this lead us to the biggest fear of job seekers which is there are no job for juniors okay look i get it it makes a lot of sense that if you don't see job ads for juniors then it means there are no jobs for juniors right I said it many times on this channel, but I will repeat it again today because it's very important. Most of the job market is not on job boards. Most of the job market is hidden. And let me tell you why. Posting a job advertisement costs money. So all these job boards charge money if you want to post a job ad. And usually you don't post on one job board, but you post the same ad on many websites. So it can end up costing companies a lot of money and it also takes time. So in a lot of cases, especially for small companies where you have the most jobs, they won't even bother to post anything. What they do is that they just ask around to see if in their network they already know some people. For example, right now, I am working for this customer for a smart contract project and they needed an extra developer. Since I know a lot of developers in my network, I propose to help them. So I just sent the job description to the student who graduated from my blockchain bootcamp and we found someone. It only took a few days and this job offer never hit the official job market. Most jobs are like this. So how can you hear about jobs like this? Good question. Well, there are different ways to do it. You can either be active in some communities. You can go to events and meet people in real life. You can work on 
projects and post them on GitHub to attract attention. And you can also be active on social media and build your personal brand by talking of what you are doing as a blockchain developer so that people can come to you. This is how I met most of my customers. And this is probably one of the most powerful way to find jobs. And last thing about junior jobs, companies tend to exaggerate their requirements when they post on uh, they post a job ad. So for example, if they say that we want someone with five years of experience, well, maybe that three years of experience will be fine. And in any case, we cannot always quantify exactly by years of experience. Sometimes someone with three years of experience is better than someone with six, year, six years of experience. So it really depends. So don't be shy, apply anyway. The next fear I often hear from beginners is that it's too difficult to learn blockchain development. It used to be difficult, yes. When I started my channel in 2017, there was nothing, no learning resources. I was the first one. But in the meantime, there are plenty of learning resources that popped up. A lot of them are very beginner friendly, some are free, some are paid. So yes, you can learn blockchain development as long as you don't do core blockchain development, blockchain development is not too difficult. It's mostly web development plus five, 10% of knowledge specific to blockchain, how to interact with smart contracts and how to write smart contracts. The next fear I often hear from beginners is, if it was so easy, everybody would do it. Okay, let's break it down into two different ideas. Easy and simple. Okay, easy means without effort. And simple means without complication, meaning that you don't need to overthink it. There is a simple process. Finding a blockchain job is not easy, meaning that you have to make some effort. Anything valuable in life requires some effort, right? And it's a good thing because once you get a job, you want to be protected. You don't want to be constantly afraid to lose your job because there is so much competition and everybody can do your job like, let's say, a barista for Starbucks. So is it easy? This is not a good question. A better question is, is the effort worth it? Well, it depends. Do you enjoy programming? Do you enjoy crypto? Do you enjoy a job that is intellectually stimulating? Do you enjoy to work remotely? Do you enjoy to have a nice salary? If those things matter to you, then yes, it's worth it. Otherwise, no, it's not worth it. So that's the first point, easy. Now, when it comes to the second point, is it simple to get a job? Well, yes, in the sense that there is a clear established process to find a job. You don't need to solve a complex equation. You don't need to be very creative. It might not be fun to search for a job. You will have to do tasks that you don't enjoy, like polishing your CV or sending job applications, but it's not something intellectually challenging. So no, it's not easy to find a blockchain job, but yes, it's simple. The next fear of beginners is that making a six-figure salary is not realistic. I get it, it sounds a bit high. In the US, the average salary for blockchain developers is $150,000. So if I tell you that for junior blockchain developers in the US, you will make at least $100,000, it sounds realistic, right? Okay, so we already fixed the problem for the US, but what about the rest of the world? I personally got a six-figure job as a junior from a company in the UK and that was back in 2018, before the crazy COVID inflation. There are also some rich places like Singapore, Switzerland, Dubai, where it's possible to get a six-figure job as a junior blockchain developer. For the rest of the world, six-figure is a bit high, but guess what? This is a global market. A lot of jobs 
are remote. They have to compete for talent globally, not locally. And even if you don't get a six-figure salary, you will get a nice salary anyway. What if you only make 90K, 80K, or even just 70K as a junior? So what? You're just getting started. Don't obsess on the salary. What matters is the trajectory. What matters is the long-term career. What matters is to get started. You will earn a lot as a blockchain developer if you stick to it long term. And also remember that blockchain development is not rocket science. We will not ask you to develop a fusion reactor or create some vaccine. We will ask you to build blockchain apps, which are 90% web development apps with just a thin layer of blockchain integration. The blockchain is already built for you. All you have to do is use the development tools that already exist. All you have to do is use existing building blocks and combine them. If you like programming, if you like crypto, it's doable. No need to be a genius. So next, you can check out this other video where I explain how I made 30K per month as a blockchain developer. I'm going to tell you exactly how I made it happen. All right, that's it for this video. Bye.